Hey there, drone fans. Rick here again from Drone Valley. In today's clip, I'd like to review the brand new Spark portable charging station from DJI. Now, a lot of us have been waiting for this product to be released ever since we saw it at the DJI launch event a couple months ago. I was lucky enough to be at that event, and they had these all over the room on different tables and pedestals, but nobody was talking about them. And I was really curious about this because it looks different than anything else I've seen released with a drone. So I started asking questions about, looks like a couple batteries fit in there, looks like the spark might fit in there. What do we use this for? Obviously it's for charging. And the only would say was, it's a charging dock. So a portable charging dock, a one you'd use at your home, like what, what are we gonna do with this thing? And really nobody wanted to talk about it. So that made it even more mysterious to me. We did get a chance to handle it. So I picked it up, I could manhandle the thing. And feeling the weight of it, you'd really pretty quickly realize that the plastic alone can't account for the weight of this. So I've always assumed there was some type of battery in the bottom, but wasn't sure exactly how big the battery was or what it would do out in the field. So now that it's out, I've got all the answers you need on this thing. But the more I spend time with this, the more I realize it's the perfect Swiss Army knife of charging solutions. It does so many things really, really well, and it's definitely worth the money. Now, it's very similar to the dock you get with the Flymore combination. The big difference is that dock is a home dock, and that's it. You can't take it out in the field and use it unless you've got an AC connection in your car, then you can use it there. But this one's even better because it allows me to take it in my backpack when I'm off-road, where there, I'm not near any electrical outlets or batteries, and use the internal battery to charge my Spark and two additional batteries, which is great. It also has a USB connection on the front, which will allow me to charge a phone or a tablet or even the control. So they really thought of everything. So let me talk about what you get with the kit first. You get the charging dock itself. You get another power brick that'll actually power up this thing and charge both the spark and the batteries inside as well as the battery inside the unit. My one pet peeve about this is it's a proprietary connection between the power brick and the actual charger. I would have loved DJI to include some type of adapter where I could charge one of the spark batteries directly because a lot of times I don't need to charge three of them. I just want to charge one of them really quickly. Would have been nice to be able to do that, but I get it. I understand that you've got to build what works for you and proprietary connections are sometimes part of that. On the one end of the brick, you've got two full USB connections down here. These are both two amp connections. So it allows you to charge three spark batteries in here and up to two devices externally off the power brick itself. So pretty much everything you need, you can charge at one time. These two connections can be used again for a phone or a tablet or the controller. So I could plug one thing into the wall, charge three batteries and up to two other devices and be out and flying in no time. Now what I like so much about this is that it's not only a great portable power solution for you, but it's a great charger for home. Because having a dock like this on your desk where you can drop two batteries into it, the spark into it, plug it in, let it charge, when you're ready to leave for the day, just unplug it. You can take this thing, put it right in your backpack, and take it along with you. It makes a nice little carrier for your drone as well. It protects it pretty well. And when you're out in the field, when your batteries get depleted and you want to recharge them, you just pop them in here, and this thing kicks in and starts charging those batteries for you. So some specifications around it. The internal battery in this thing, there's a bit of debate here because there's different numbers on the website versus the manual. On the website, it says it's a 5,000 milliampere hour battery. Somewhere else it says it's a 4,000 and, and change milliampere hour battery. I'm going to tear this thing open in another video to show you exactly what's going on inside of it. So I'll figure out how big that battery is. But nonetheless, that size battery, either one you pick, should charge all three batteries at least once to fully charge, unless they're completely depleted. But let's be honest, none of us fly our batteries completely depleted. We'll land it with 10 or 15, maybe 20% of the battery left, pop it in here. So feel comfortable that if you go out in the field with three charged batteries, this will recharge those three batteries for you to give you a total of six batteries of flight time. Again, you can also use this USB connection on the front to charge some other device. Um, the charger comes with it. It's a custom charger. You get a nice manual to explain everything about this, and you get some information about the DJI uh, refresh program, the DJI Care refresh program. Now, on the front, I'll go around this thing a little bit, and I'll put some blow-ups up. On the front, you've got three connections up here. You've got the USB that I talked about before. You've got the proprietary connection to connect up the brick to it, and you've got another connection over here with a cover on it. That's a micro USB connection. Now, why would you need that? What am I going to use that thing for? Well, remember, this is a smart charger. There's intelligence inside there and brains that control not only how the batteries are being charged, but which battery gets charged first. And that firmware may need to be updated someday. So that connection on the front is to be used down the road if firmware ever comes out for this thing where you can connect it to your computer and download the new firmware to it. On the one side over here, you've got a latch. If you pull that latch, it pops this top piece open over here. And that gives you access to the internals on that. Now let me talk a little bit about the battery charging inside the unit. So there's room in here for two batteries and the spark itself with a battery internally. 
When you put the batteries in there, the first battery that goes in obviously is going to get charged first. If you put a second battery in, it's going to look at both those batteries and it's going to decide which battery needs the least amount of charge and charge that first. In other words, which one's closest to full. And that makes sense because you want to get whatever battery out of there that's charged the quickest. So it's going to go for the one that needs the least amount of time. Then it'll move on to the next one. Now, if you have one or two batteries in there and you drop a spark in, no matter what the status of those batteries are, the spark's going to get charged first. That's just the way it's done. And again, it makes sense because I want to fly, right? And the thing you want to fly with is the thing you're charging. So putting the spark in, it's going to rush current into that spark. Now, what I've done in the field is if I'm going to recharge that spark and I've got three batteries that are somewhat depleted, I'll tap the end of the batteries to see which one of is closest to charge, put it in the spark and put it in there. That gets me back up in the air pretty quickly. When I'm flying that, one of the other two gains a lot of charge. I can pull it back out and then fly again. So it really gives you a lot of decent solutions. The way you use these batteries couldn't be simpler. You basically drop the battery in, pull it in, it slides in right nice and tight. You can't really screw this thing up. It drops right into the slot and you can pull it forward. Now I've got it in backwards there. You can see that it won't pull in. You spin it around, push it closed, and it's stuck in there. And then I've got a spark someplace. Here we go. There's the spark. Now, one thing I want to talk about too are these mysterious pads on the bottom. We've all speculated what these things were for. A lot of us have felt that's going to be sort of contact charging. We can drop it on something and charge it. A lot of people thought it was going to be wireless charging like the new iPhones. The truth is there are four pins down the bottom that marry up exactly with those gold pads there. And what they're doing is charging through those pads. It's sort of a contact point for charging. And I'm sure, and again, I'm going to tear this open to figure out what's going on. I'm sure that there's some way that the charger can push electrons into the battery, but there's a way to prevent the battery from actually pushing electrons back in the other directions using some kind of diode bridge or something inside there, some intelligent circuitry. But basically, you drop that in. It hits those pads in the back. I usually fold those uh, arms in like that, and then I close this gently. The minute you close that, everything's going to start charging when you turn it on. The thing I like, too, about this is that... This unit has two rubber pads right here that actually gently push down on the spark to make sure you're getting a great contact in the back. But once you close this thing up, that's a nice little package to take with you. And these, you know, these uh, propellers will be underneath there and you can throw it in your backpack and be off and running. And that, to me, is just the perfect companion when you're out on the road to drop in your backpack and make sure you've got your spark and the two batteries ready to go. Um, as far as other things on here go, there are a bunch of indicators on the front. The way you turn this on is just like you power up any of the DJI drones. You tap it once and then hold it. You'll see it actually power up. The four LEDs on the bottom will indicate exactly how much charge there is in the internal battery. Once it starts charging, there are three other indicators on top. There's one in the middle, one on either side. The one in the middle is for the spark. That's the indicator of how that battery's doing. On either side will be uh, pertaining to the batteries that are underneath. So obviously if this one is green, that means the battery on this side is fully charged. The indicators, and I'll put a chart up in a second, are basically if you have no light, that means you have no battery in the slot. If you have a red light, that means there's an error condition. You gotta pay attention to something. Maybe the battery's got issues or it's not seated correctly. There are two versions of the yellow light. There's one where it's solid and there's one where they're blinking. The solid one means that it's ready to charge because they can only charge in order. Uh, yellow means that it's preparing for charge. And then the green, there are two greens as well. There's flashing, which means it's charging, or solid green, which means that battery's fully charged. So when you start this, you'll have a combination of those colors going on. Once this is fully charged, all the batteries internally, all three should be solid green and you're ready to go. So that's kind of it for what I wanted to talk about. Oh, one other thing I wanted to mention is I use... A universal cable with this guy because I have obviously the charger uh, which I'm going to want to charge here has got a micro USB connection on the bottom of the controller and I use a lot of iPhone products so I've got iPhones and iPads I use and I hate carrying two different cables with me and I've talked about this in clips before but I like to use a universal cable like this which has a USB connection on the one end and it comes with two connectors on this end it's got both a micro USB and an iPhone or an Apple cable here, the lightning cable here. So you can charge you know, your controller with the USB, micro USB cable, and if I wanna switch and charge my iPhone or my iPad, I just pop this other connector on and charge it. And that is just a clean way of me carrying one cable and I don't have to deal with a bunch of different cables when I'm out in the road. So I'll put links below in the comments for all the stuff I'm talking about. Um, this is available now on the website from DJI. Um, the cable I'll put, we've got that on our website. The only other thing I wanted to mention is they initially came out with this as just the charger for $89. I now see that they've actually got two versions of this. You can actually get it with just the charger for $89, or if you wanna spend a little bit more money, and I think it's a really good deal actually, you can get the charger and two batteries for $139. Now think about that. This is $89 on its own. These batteries are typically $50 on their own. So the fact that you get an $89 charger 
for $50 more, you get two batteries. It's like getting a battery for free. So if you haven't bought extra batteries for your Spark or you think you want a couple more, I would go for the one with the extra batteries. If you got plenty of batteries already, like I got a ton of batteries, I just need the charger. So anyway, that's pretty much it for today. I think it's a cool product. It's unique. I think they've really answered a need here. And uh, I like it. I use it out in the field. I've had it a couple of days. I've had it out in the field with me both of those days. It's worked flawlessly for me. So hopefully you find this helpful. Again, I'll put some links below where you can go check these things out on DJI's website. And I'll put a link to the cable and a few other things on our website. If you buy from us, you can support the channel a little bit. We appreciate that. Uh, if you have any questions about what I've discussed, please drop them in the comments below. I promise to get back to you as quickly as I can. And I just love putting these clips together. So watch the channel closely. I'll definitely do a teardown of this to show you what's going on inside. I love getting into the guts of the technology. I'm also going to do a giveaway on one of these. So you may want to pay attention to the channel, hint, hint, over the next couple of weeks to see what's going on there because I've ordered a couple. I'm going to use one and I've got one for the fans. So you're going to be getting one of these back. So pay attention. And uh, when you see that up, make sure you enter that contest. Anyway, that's pretty much it for today. So thanks again for watching. I really appreciate the subscriptions and the comments from you guys. I just love doing these clips. And until next time, happy flying.